of exponential that are going to be on the calculator portion, and sometimes it's on the non-calculator portion. So we need to make sure that we understand when it's on the non-calculator portion. So, oops, all right. Um, so anyways, first thing, let's just kind of evaluate y equals 2 to the 0. Anything raised to 0 we know is going to be 1. y equals 2 to the first power which is obviously just going to be 2. We know 2 to the second power will be 4. 2 to the eight, or two to the third power is going to give us 8. Is everybody following me with filling in the table? The negative sometimes trip people up, so y equals 2 to the negative first. Just remember is 1 over 2, so that's 1 half. And y equals 2 to the negative second is 1 over 2 to the second, which equals 1 fourth. So if I was going to graph this, you could start at 0, and we go up to 1. So if I'd say that's my y, that's my x. And then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So at negative 1, we're at a half. And at negative 2, we're at a quarter. At 1, we're at 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll just go there. At 1, we're at 2. And at 2, we're at 4, or 1, 2, 3. So by graphing this, what you guys can see is our graph is going to look something like that. And it's going to, and this is what we say, exponential function, something grows exponentially. You guys can see, as numbers keep on going farther over to the right, this is really shooting up really high, right? So we could say that the domain um, the domain of this function is from negative infinity to infinity. And the range of this function is going to be 0 to infinity. Okay. Now again, this is with 